Welcome back to Let's Deal Hand of Fate. I'm Burning Dogface, and my voice is super scratchy from doing that old lizard man voice. In fact, I'm gonna take a drink. Mm. Ah, what a great start to this video. <laughs> God. Blood Auction 2! Again, a token is at stake. And again, I will do my best to acquire it. Bid some blood! I don't want a ring, but... I want that token. Oh no, I'm gonna get the token and it will become a ring. That's what it is. A strange creature comes to you and draws out your blood. You gotta pay, even if you lose the bid. The creature explains. It could be any of these cards, but I get a second chance. Oh! Yeah, let's go with success! You are successful in your bid. The strange creature returns and says, Your item will be gift-wrapped and sent to you. This card's token is now yours. You decide to leave before the vampires take any further interest in you. I wonder if I can sell my shitty axe. Sup? That's really not great, but... I don't know that I have much of a choice. Look at nine dollars. Which is a shame because it looks so awesome. I mean I wouldn't turn it down if I had nothing, but you know. All I need now is a uh magical shield. Unfortunately there's only one in my deck. Yeah, fare thee well, scorching zeal. Yeah, remove this curse. I don't have any rings yet. I can't afford any of them. Actually, a pretty good price. And what the hell? No, let's uh, stick with that. Yeah, let's get out of here. Thank you for your uh, business, good sir. Means a lot to me. But I'm no longer quite as doomed. Feels good to have all this stuff on me. Actually, I want us to make that one the one, yeah. Look at them all! I am indeed the blessed man. Which one's this again? Right, cooldown times for weapons and artifacts are doubled. Oops. And that one I already knew about. It's you! Now, a fight for the ages. I expect greatness. The Jack of Scales. This lizard man's potency allows him to nullify the magical abilities of the player's weapons and artifacts. It's probably a good thing I didn't go for that helmet, then. 
Their latent magical abilities make these lizardmen feared by all, even their own kind. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards, some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Bring it. I started a new recording segment there because for a second I saw my desktop. The Jack of Scales. Buddy there. No, you didn't. I just wish. Wishful thinking. Oh! It's just you and me, fuckface! Fighting for so long to bring you down! I called the Rat Men to make it easier to get through to you! I've been through hell and back twice! I have determined to put this hammer through your skull. So let it be written, so let it be done. Yes! <laughs> hmm. Well played. Well played indeed. You have defeated something that I never expected to die. The Scepter. Scepter upgrades. Equipment bonus. At the start of your adventure, you gain an equipment card. Okay. Uh, food bonus. You start your adventures with more food. New starting gear. Your starting equipment has been upgraded. Ratmen strength increase. Ratmen have had their strength increased. Bandit health increase. Bandit have had, bandits have had their health increased. Lizardmen strength increase. Lizardmen have had their strength increased. Wand represents my will in the purest sense. It is not too late for you to give up now. Go peacefully to your fate and leave me to mine. You begin to assemble a credible deck. 
Let us see what happens next. Activate. For delivering the gold to Orenshire, you receive... Food Wagon. Yeah, that would be the supplies he was talking about. For finding the Kraken Cult, you receive this, uh, this card. Trial by Combat. For winning the Blood Auction, you receive these cards. Gain 15 gold, Ring of Reward, and Blood Auction 3. As a reward for defeating my Lizardman Jack, you receive these new cards. Queen of Skulls. Metal Ore. Holy Forge. And Dark Ritual. And these new cards. Hearn's Antlers, which I guess I couldn't just put in my deck before. And Undead Bane. Halfway done. Let us continue. <sighs> Is there some way to deactivate the uh, scepter and the chalice? I only ask because I'm curious if there's some way to you know, go back to an earlier state to make it easier to get a, to, to do things like get across the river where you uh, can get across best if you have no or light armor. Into the depths we go, searching for the dead and dying. The Queen of Skulls! Haunted. Whenever the player purchases a new item, they gain a curse. Okay, fuck that then. Uh, just, just food then? I don't even know if I can do that. Merchant Guild. All traders have been persuaded to offer cheaper items. Fantastic! Four dark dwellers and two calls of the shadows. So much death and sorrow in the world. Can you hear the winds keening in loss? Can you hear the dirges? As the trees and the earth cry out in sorrow, this is the Queen of Skulls, and that is all she can hear. It has driven her to madness. Her touch is the promise of death, and I say to you, you were warned. Farewell. That was metal. You know what, let's start with uh, hitting recommend. that one at all. I'm here to start with uh, that these days. Oh good, Sea Journey is still there. Can go back and do that one perfectly. Yeah, that one's then that says, hey, you get attacked. Didn't want to use that. Maybe a bit counterintuitive to use, uh, one of the, you know, defeat the Kraken and, uh, save the Kraken cult there in the same deck. But hey, you know, I never said that I made sense.
That was the other one I didn't want to use, Deadman's Gorge. I guess I'll put that back in, because it's really not that hard, and I get a ton of gold out of it, usually. As for this, this might be totally wrong. Not a single axe in here. If I start with a shield, I don't need that. No, do not need every helmet. No, no, fuck that one. That's for the healing cat back. Got that one. This one was dumb. Yes, that's counterintuitive. Wait, what? Oh, Plunderer's Ring. Uh, with every game card, the player receives plus one gold and plus two health. When a more interested in Varth, it goes, During her youth, the elf maiden Merith wore this ring throughout her adventures across the lands. Both of those are light armor, so don't be stupid. That was a sneeze, sorry about that. Fool's gold, on every weapon ability usage, all bandits are stunned by three se or three seconds. Every bandit killed nets the player two gold. The protection afforded by this item of clothing comes at a price, a chronic mishandling of gold from all sources. What a Diné. And as a reminder, I don't have any of these, because they're all DLC. Wait, what? Oh no, I do have this. This is hard mode. How does that work? I move and attack faster, enemies move and attack faster, and do more damage. But my counterattacks do more damage, and all bandits now have throwing knives. But it does come with unique cards and tokens. I won't be doing that today, but maybe next time I could try doing one of the earlier cards. You know, like the uh, Jack of Dust or something, with the hard mode on. Ow. Sorry about that. Whacked the uh, microphone. Makes him look like a goblin. Of course. Hmm. This one sounds cool. What the? Wait, is this actually what I start with? This isn't just because I'm doing the monk? No, no, that is because I'm doing the monk.
Okay. And you know what? I'm gonna call it here because there's like 20 seconds left. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Deal Hand of Fate. The Jack of Scales out of the way. It's time to put someone back in the ground for a change and go after the Queen of Skulls. Later!